So for your cruise craft through three breaker panel, it's very easy. First two rows here are gonna run off your house batteries. Spare, hooked up different on each boat. Each boat is a little bit different that way. Lights, as we go down, you guys can just turn them on and off using the light switches throughout the boat or on the breaker panel here, that's more than enough. Spreader lights are the lights up on the second deck of your guys' boat um, to provide light up there. Water pump breakers here, those both have to be off when you are driving the boat. The reason behind that is if you're driving with down the lake with those on and somebody uses some water throughout the boat, you can and will suck up air into your water pumps. It's gonna airlock your pump, so you're gonna have no water going throughout the boat. So make sure these two are off before you start driving in order to minimize or get rid of that issue there. So water heater breaker, you need to make sure this one is turned on. You also have two indicator switches on the Cruise Craft 3s to let you know whether the water heater is on or off, but I would leave this one on your entire trip just so you have hot water going throughout all your taps and showers whenever you need. So going on about the water heater, this is your water heater indicator switch. Right now it's in the on position and there's no red illuminated reset light. So that means your water heater is heating your water. What you guys can do if you do ever come by and you see this red reset light illuminated, so it's bright red, means your water heater pilot light has gone out. So you're gonna need to reset that. To reset that, the easiest thing to do is you flip your on off switch just to the off position and then you can flip it back on. Usually that does relight that water heater and gets it going for you guys again so you have hot water. If it doesn't go, you guys can still turn off your water heater breaker, reset that, flip it back on. If that red reset light goes away, your water heater is heating. If it doesn't seem to go away, um, we'll get you guys to reference your guys' manual, or if we need, we can always use the radio within main radio hours as well. The fresh water tank, fresh water pump here, is a 200 liter tank on board. That water only comes from the small silver taps near each of the sinks, all the other water in your main toilets, showers, hot tub, um, all the other water on board the boat is lake water, so only those little silver taps are the fresh potable, potable water. You have outlets throughout the boat, docking lights are the lights out the very front end of your guys' boat that shine on the beach or the lake. You have aft cabin outlets throughout the boat. Your fuel transfer breaker, we'll go over that more in depth in the back. Last two things on the breaker panel here is your furnace breaker. There's a temperature adjustment beside the breaker panel, how you adjust the temperature for your furnace. So right here you have your furnace temperature adjustment and your fireplace temperature adjustment. So for your furnace, first off, if you wanna engage your furnace, you need to make sure your breaker panel on the breaker that says furnace is turned on. You're gonna flip on the little switch on the side, you're gonna set it to heat and then you'll adjust your temperature to whatever you guys want and you should be able to hear the furnace engage once you have it set to the temperature you need. Once you're done with the furnace, set your temperature all the way down and flip the little switch on the side to the off position just to shut off the furnace. And then finally you have your CD player which is the main stereo for your main room area on the boat. So this third row of breakers on the breaker panel is only gonna run when the generator is on and your boat is charging. So we'll go into how to get that generator started up. The next part of the orientation, you're gonna go over how to start up the generator and switch over to power. So to start the generator, it's very easy. You're gonna press and hold the start switch. You're gonna press and hold for about five seconds. You should be able to hear the generator come on in the back of the boat there. After you have that generator running, give it about 10 to 15 seconds before you turn your main generator switch over to the ship's gen position just so you don't overload the power system and shut off the generator. So give it about 10 to 15 seconds, then you flip that ship's generator switch over to ship's gen, and you should have the boat come on and charging. So there is a 12 volt alarm on the boat, so it will slowly start to beep at you. So it's a single beep and then about 10 seconds and it will beep again. That just lets you know you need to start up your generator and let it charge, usually for about two to three hours after you would get that low voltage alarm in order for yourselves to get a good charge. If you shut off the generator as soon as that alarm goes away, your battery is going to drain down quickly and set that alarm off again. So this panel will say one of three things on it. It will say inverting when your generator is not running and your boat is not charging. It will say bulk charging when your batteries are slowly charging up. And it will say float charging or full charge once your batteries are full. 
So in a couple seconds, your charging light will engage. It will say charging for you guys once your generator is on and you're set to ship's gen. And slowly, it will click in and it will let you know what your full charge or your bulk charge. So for this boat here, it is set to float charge, which means your batteries are full. So on the inverter panel here, this is what tells you what your battery voltage is for your house batteries. So anything below 12 volts, there's a 12 volt alarm on this boat. So if your battery volts go below that 12 volt, the alarm is gonna slowly beep at you. So it's a beep and then about 10 seconds and then another beep to let you know that you need to start your generator up and get your boat charging. So once your guys' boat is charging, the bulk charge indicator will come on here. It's a light, it'll either be flashing or solid, just to let you know that that boat is charging and your batteries are slowly charging up. So bulk charging means your batteries are slowly charging up. Float charge, when that light illuminates, means your batteries are full. So before you go to bed is one of the most important times you're gonna to wanna to for sure run your generator. You're gonna to wanna to let it run about two to three hours before you go to bed until you get a float charge, which means your batteries are full. Then you can shut your generator down for the evening. Um, but for to, in order to get to a float charge, if you have a bunch of other breakers turned on on the breaker panel, it's gonna take a long time or it won't reach that float charge as the power is gonna be going directly to the source or where it's drawing power from. So in order to get to the float charge quicker, shut off as many breakers as you can, the breakers you're not using, in order to get the boat to charge up a little bit faster to get to that float charge. And once you are at a float charge, you're gonna shut down your generator and flip off any of the breakers you're not using to conserve power overnight so you don't get that 12 volt alarm to come on and set off the alarm and wake everybody on the boat up. Once you've started up your generator and you have the main breaker turned over to the ship's gen position, you should see that you have power to the AC bus one or generator fed section on your breaker panel. In that AC bus one, we have a few main things. The first one is your hot tub fill and jet breaker. For that, it's simply just providing power to either your fill pump or your jet pump for that hot tub upstairs. We also see that you have your air conditioning breaker in this section. If you want to use that air conditioning, simply flip the breaker on and then go ahead and control that AC unit from the thermostat further up in your boat. We have some high output outlets in that AC bus one as well. Those are going to be scattered throughout the boat. I'd suggest that you guys just leave them on your entire trip and then you could use those outlets when that generator is running and that power feed has been connected using the main breaker. As we mentioned previously, all of your covered breakers, leave them set how they are when you get onto your houseboat. They are covered simply for the fact that we don't want you to be touching them. You have your washer dryer. You can turn that breaker on and operate the washer and dryer from the back of the boat. And then lastly, we have the dishwasher which you can simply turn on and control the dishwasher using the buttons on the dishwasher. The AC bus 2 or inverter fed section on your breaker panel will run any time that you have over a 12 volt charge on your batteries. The things in these section are high drawing items or appliances throughout the boat. So if you are using many of those at once, it is suggested that you turn on your generator so that we're not draining those batteries. To start the section, we first see you have your stove. You can simply turn that on and operate the stove just like you would at home. Your microwave is in there as well. With the microwave in particular, it is suggested that you use the generator anytime you're running that microwave because it does use a lot of power and will drain the batteries very, very quickly. We have some high output outlets scattered throughout the boat. Your TV stereo is going to be for the main entertainment system on this main level. Bar is simply for the bar fridges upstairs and some of the outlets on the island bar. You have some more outlets throughout the boat. Your hot tub heater. The hot tub heater on this boat is hooked up with a circulator pump. So if you need that hot tub to be heating, you have to have the hot tub heater or circulator pump breaker on and that's just providing power to the pump as well as the heater so that it can get that water moving and heated for you. Lastly we have our refrigerator which we will leave on the entire trip otherwise your fridges will not be cooling. 
and fan is simply just the cabin fan in the main level of your houseboat.